Hello, hang on a minute. So I'm not. Not set up? <laughs> right, I'm just about set up. Okay. So we've got three people on. ESWM. Right, welcome James. So me, James, I think Maltese is gonna come in. Feel free, anyone else wants to come in? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hello DVD, how are we doing? Good, good. Maltese is in. I don't know if anyone else is about, so what we'll do, we'll just start off with us three. If anyone comes in, they can join the audience on the next game. Right, okay. Okay. Channel hey, HD, who's this? Is that you, Matt? Remember guys, during this game, it's natural to fall in love with me. Fight the feeling. Let's go. Time for round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses or quips will be pitted against someone else's and everyone will vote on their favorite. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I've never seen that. Something that didn't really interest me. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. First one, the perfect song to hum on the toilet. Okay, voting time, pick your favorite. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Next one. The worst theme for your kid's first dance recital. Vote on your devices. Next up. Time to vote. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Yay! So far, so good. It's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. That's right, doubled. Let's take a look. First up. Okay, pick your favorite. <laughs> Next in line, CBS should air a TV show about lawyers who are also blank. It's voting time. <laughs> It's a place you should never order from. Time to vote. <laughs> and that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. Well, All right, it's only the first game. Dash, the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. Your prompt is... A lesser-known ingredient in most microwave pizza pockets. Take a look. Okay, in this round, you have three votes to give to players. You can give them all to one player or spread them out. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard. Yes! 
won the first round. Wow, <laughs> things must be looking up for once. <laughs> Right, let's see if anyone else is here who wants to play. Got seven in, so no one else is chatting now. U M U M M A. Oh, James is in. Oh, Maltese in it. Anyone else coming in? Let's start. If anyone comes in, they can join the next game or join the audience. Schmitty. That's spelled S C H Mitty. Oh, I've got a good feeling about this. I'm sorry, I was talking to my tater tots again. Let's go! This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winners' bonuses at stake. Go! Okay, here we go. Starting things off, the perfect name for a second head that sprouts on your shoulder. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Okay, next one. A better name for the Washington Monument. Vote on your devices. Like a really family guy. I haven't watched that next, for a long time. Sometimes John Travolta wildly mispronounces names. How might he wildly mispronounce his own name? It's voting time. That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at the scores. And Maltese takes the lead. Now round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. The drama.
Let's start this show. The first prompt is the one phrase the NSA is tired of watching us type into Google. Okay, pick your favorite. Coming up next, the name of a canine comedy club with puppy stand-up comedians. Time to vote. And next, a unique way to escape from prison. It's voting time. <laughs> Round two is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. Oh, a little taste of inlaid. And now, round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. The last lash prompt is... The most boring graffiti you could see in the subway. Let's see the responses. Hand out your votes. <laughs> oh, time's running now. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores. Well, I'm okay. Q Q O E. <laughs> right, Montez. James, anybody else? Hey, okay, it looks like it ain't, just us three for now. Welcome to Quiplash. Population, you guys. All right, good group. Now remember, if Gandhi were alive, this is exactly what he would be doing right now. This is round one. 
you get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Okay, here we go. Our first prompt is another name for Toe Jam. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Yes, this is where the treasure is buried. Vote on your devices. <laughs> yeah. Next one. Today's music needs more blank. Time to vote. I would say talent. <laughs> Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not sure shit start, but more easy in the lead. On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say. Let's take a look. Starting things off, something that's made worse by adding cheese. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Toe Jam and Earl. Don't think I've... I think I played the game, then, I? I can't remember. <laughs> okay, next one. Using only two words, a new state motto for Texas. It's voting time. <laughs> Next in line, a terrible name to have if you're running for public office. Time to vote. <laughs> That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores.
Oh, James takes over the lead. And I ain't got fuck all. This is round three, the last lash. Points are tripled and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Our prompt is... Hello, Pino. Worst name for a rap artist. Here's the board. Vote with your votes now. I hope he does. I want to. I want to see him actually play this game because I think it'd be quite funny to see his answers. Final scores. Oh, and James does it. So we've all won one today so far. Right, you coming in, Pano? <laughs> N U V V James is in, Maltese is in, anyone else going to turn up? And Pano's in. Brilliant. Anyone else? Right, let's go for it. According to this, it's eight people one. I am Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein, your court ordered host of Quiplash. You guys ready to lose about 10 minutes of your life? Great. Time for round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Oh shit. Oh, we've got one in the audience. I think we have this audience. Hey! Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. First up, one place a finger shouldn't go. Okay, pick your favorite. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
next up. A bad use for clam chowder. Vote on your devices. Oh, got one in the audience. Okay, next one. The dumbest person in the history of all time. <laughs> it's voting time. <laughs> oh, imagine if that was watching. Oh. Next one, something you'd make a butler do the moment you hired him. Time to vote. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Oh, I'm in the lead so far. So far. Round two is straight ahead, and that means all points are doubled. Boys. Let's take a look. The first prompt is combine any two words to make a fun new made up word. <laughs> okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. And next is a great way to kill time at work. It's voting time. <laughs> I'm 
Next in line, something a talking doll probably should not say when you pull the string. Vote on your devices. <laughs> Oh, well, two in the audience. Hello, Stefano! Coming up next, a horrible chair. No! For it's tots. actually it's an American drink, I think. Time to vote! And it was a title, a lyric in the Beatles, one of the Beatles tunes. We've reached the end of round two. Let's see what happened. And Maltese takes the lead. This is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up. Point values are tripled and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Your last lash prompt is... The worst thing you can tell the kids about the death of the family dog. Oh shit, I'm fucked. Fucked up. Fucking white foot too long over it. We're ready to look. Shit. Vote away. <laughs> Took too long over it and I fucked up. Oh, unlock something else. That's all. Now for the final scores. And Maltese takes it. Well done, Maltese. I think Mellow Yellow is a drink in America, also, I think, or it used to be. Okay, I'll put the code in, U-I-P-J. Right, I'll be right back.
So, me, and where's everyone else? Stefano, Dan Dunn. Who's Dan Dunn? Pino's in. Where are more T's and DVDs gone? Oh, it's your birthday today, Maltese. Sorry about that. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, DVD won't be his tea, okay. Must have missed it. Okay, okay, okay. Are you Dan done then? Who's Dan Dunn? Is that you, Maltese? I'm Schmitty, your host, friend, co-worker, and father. Oh, man. Just once can I pop up on Tom Hanks TV? Well, you'll do. Let's go. This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go. One in the audience. Oh, wait for pain. Oh, twenty seconds. Oh, got in. Okay, here we go. First one, a sequel to the painting Dogs Playing Poker. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite.
And next, the second thing set on the moon. <laughs> it's voting time. Next in line, vote on your devices. And next is the name of the reindeer Santa didn't pick to pull his sleigh. Time to vote. Okay, classics, it's no problem. Are you alright? Okay, next one. A terrible vacation idea, going to visit the Museum of Blank. It's voting time. <laughs> That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Oi! Round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. Let's start this show. 
Starting things off, what to say to get out of jury duty. Okay, pick your favorite. <laughs> Coming up next, a fun thing to yell as a baby is being born. Vote on your devices. Oh, 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 oh. Next up, a terrible talent to have for the Miss America pageant. It's voting time. <laughs> Next one, something upsetting you could say to the cable guy as he installs your television service. Time to vote. Next up, the worst thing to vomit into when you suddenly need to vomit. It's voting time. Welcome back, DVD. <laughs> Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. Just so just. And now round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. Our last lash prompt is... What's the Mona Lisa smiling about?
Five seconds! Oh, he's got in there. Okay, soak it in. Give out your votes now. Excuse me. That's it. Let's take a look at the final scores. Yes! Excellent. A one, two tonight. Brilliant. <laughs> Amazing for me. Right, we'll have one more game until we start the retro gaming start. I'll start the retro gaming rather. One more game. HJP James Ortiz Thank you. It's a rarity for me. <laughs> Stefano's on, so that's four. Pano's on, anybody else? Okay, all right, error 42. How are you doing anyway? I don't know if anyone else is coming on, but I'll give another minute. G, Mystery G. Yep, I'm doing well. Oh, I don't think anyone else is coming on. Get on with it. Hello, 
there. Welcome aboard. My name is Schmitty, and I'll be your host today. We know you have many choices when it comes to games, and we're happy you chose Quiplash. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. I honestly don't think G is Jack. Fall. Let's do it. <laughs> this is round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! I don't know, I don't think it is Jack. I don't think G is Jack, because I don't think it's on my face, it's not on my Facebook. Um, you know, I, I do stream it on Facebook, so I don't think Jack's on Facebook, so I don't think it is G. I don't think Jack is G. Well, it's a mystery. Okay, it's a mystery it's that we all want to know. <laughs> First up, it's disappointing to put together a 1,000 piece puzzle and realize it's just a picture of blank. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Okay, next one. A better name for France. <laughs> Vote on your devices. <laughs> Don't know what they, they both mean, but there you go. <laughs> cool. Next in line, the secret to being a great kisser. It's voting time. And next, what they call pooping in the land of Oz. Time to vote. I don't know, I just, I got a feeling G isn't Jack, but then again I could be totally wrong. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I know, Coming geez, a mystery. Next. Probably be a boy, be a mystery. With a dead elf. Vote on your devices. Miss Chang. And second rules of Fight Club are don't talk about Fight Club. But what's the 387th rule of Fight Club? It's voting time. Is it? I don't know. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, and James takes the lead. With G. Enjoying Time for round first two. Place. Everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Take a look. The first prompt is come up with a three word sequel to the book Eat, Pray, Love. Okay, pick your favorite. <laughs> Coming up next, take any U.S. president's name and turn it into something inappropriate. Time to vote. Next in line, a better name for the game Duck Duck Goose. Vote on your devices. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Next up. It's voting time. name to use when checking into a hotel. Time to vote. Next one. It's voting time. is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. Mm -hmm. And Stefano takes the lead. This is round three, the last lash. Points are tripled and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. The prompt is... seconds three two one ah and here's what you did apply your votes Okay, Maltese, that's a shame. Oh, 
It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores. And Stefano wins it. Well done, Stefano. Right, we'll leave it there for now with Jack Pox. Jack Pox. Jack Pox, that's no such game, is it? Oh god, how disgusting. Anyway, how's everyone doing? How's, did everyone enjoy that? Because I enjoyed it. <coughs> we'll have a bit of a chat and we'll play some games. Sue's on. So we'll... Hello, Mark Blaster. How you doing? So Stefano, did you figure out what was wrong with the um, Jackbox games yesterday? Did you sort it? Yeah, it's good. It's good fun. You know, we can all. It's something we can all play. I know it's up to eight players, but it's it's good. It's good fun. You know, something, you know, it's good to introduce to the, the stream. Okay, good Maltese. I would like to see, I would like to see um, Nicholas try and play this game, because I think his answers would be quite funny. Because, <laughs> you know, because you can only imagine what he would put. Something Pokemonish or something like that. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, but it's good fun. It's all good fun. That's what. I don't care if I win or lose. You know, it's about playing it. It's having fun playing it. But who is G? <laughs> that is the mystery. I know Maltese keeps saying it could be Jack, but I don't think it's Jack. I don't think it is Jack, because Jack would usually sign on with his own name. Yeah, we all would like to know who G is. N64 games, <laughs> yeah. No, or Mario games, Pokemon games. I don't know, Japanese anime, I don't know, his answers would be quite intriguing. <laughs> okay Maltese, if you think so, I just, I just don't think so. <laughs> But it could be, could be, could be not. Who knows? This can always be a mystery. Hello, Jason. How you doing? Law HD Remix. No, I can't say I have. I never even played it back in the day. In fact, I don't even think I played it. I know what it is. It's a high symmetric game.
Okay. On what's oh what's that on PC? Okay, yeah, it's a game that I've never played. I don't know, because he hasn't been on the last three or four streams, so I don't know, unless he's seen Quiplash and think, what's this? I don't know. So, Football Channel HD must be Panini. Hello, Matt, how you doing? Or the Psycho Stalker is also known as. Who had a meltdown? Well, gee. <laughs> what? Um, I'll let you know now. All the games that I've, that I've been on the list, I've reviewed. You know? Because the web has been quite crappy, so I've reviewed all the games. And yes, I've also reviewed... That uh, Mega Drive game as well, Dark Castle. So that will be uploaded in the week, well, over the week. Have I played Phoenix? Might have done. I might have done. I might have reviewed it. I might have reviewed it. I think I have actually. Not back in the day, but I think I have reviewed that game. I can't remember. I can't remember it now. But I don't tell you what. I can make it. I can make it the first game of the retro gaming part if you want me to. Just a familiar. Familiar myself with it oh duct duct yep well I've reviewed that that will be coming in the week all right let's find out because I'm, I'm sure I reviewed it but I can't remember it Stick that over there. So that's on the spectrum. Well, no, I think it would be the 48k spectrum. But I know 48k and 16k are pretty much the same thing. All right. Phoenix is P H E E N E X N I X. So this must be the one. Push us to start. Kempston, is it set to Kempston? We'll find out. Is this the one or bloody hell?
Oh. Oh, right, yeah, I remember this one. Yeah, I have reviewed it. You got your beer? Nice. I'll be drinking about eight o'clock. Nice, but it moves a little bit too slow. I mean, it's nicely, it plays nice. Oh, fuck. Oh! Hello, Amiga Bang, how you doing? <coughs> this is Phoenix. Spelled P H E E N I X on the spectrum. Push down. Ah, oh, right. Ah, oh, shit, it was too late then. So I meet the uh, Hello Classics. That's all right. We'll have another game of it a little bit later. Come on, you bastard! Oh, now on the mother ship. Shit, game over. slow on the um, when you're moving your base could it be a could do for a little bit being a little bit faster ah oh, shit I forgot to activate my shield You know, it's not bad if you only had a 16k. I mean, this is pretty good for the 16k. If you want classics, I don't think no one else has requested anything, so we can do. Right, okay. Yeah, so it's a good game. Just a little bit slow, but, you know, once you get used to it. Pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'll load it up. I'll load it up. Um, where are we? <coughs> no, I've already reviewed it. I've already reviewed it, so I'm not going to play it because it's on the list. 
so I'm not going to play it until no games on the list is going to be on the stream until I've reviewed it I have reviewed it but it's not uploaded yet right so how are we right I need to load the site there it is there we go oh, I forgot you can use I didn't really you can use mouse on this game or did I already know that <laughs> I can't remember if I already knew that um okay right so you want to go for a gig where do you want to go this is the Amiga version which is probably the same as the ST version probably an ST port wouldn't be surprised universe is how much do you want to charge? Fiver and how many nights? F three nights, okay. Oh, yeah, we lost one of ours, didn't we? Right. Oh, good. 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 Right. Yeah, oh, I suppose because at first it was like the Amstrad CPC. I mean, there was a lot of ZX Spectrum ports. You know, the Amstrad CPC and the Amiga were better, but better machines. But unfortunately, they got the ports. They could have done better. You know what I mean? I had Paradroid and I, it's a game I didn't really like. Practice, right. How many days? I never played Popular, Popular, so I've heard of it. It's a strategy game, isn't it? Oh, charts time. Let's all do the shag. <laughs> you could, multi, you could. Obviously my best strategy game on the Amiga was the Settlers. Number 10. Let's all do the shag. Well, at least we got the charts in the charts, I suppose. Oh, album charts now. Cindy Cleavage. Amazing boss. Right, what do you want to do now? Oh, 
I think we all was, uh, Matt. I think we all was. Well, the first one of the first computers I ever played on was the Spectrum. My mate had a 48k Spectrum. I think we did, did we? I'm sure we released. You'll have to ask classics because I can't remember. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, Matt. <laughs> never, I never touch, never touch drugs like that. <laughs> let alone, let alone drink Jack Daniels. Do ya? DVD? Never knew you was into that. <laughs> ah, I don't chuck I don't don't touch any spirits these days. I just stick to my Carlsberg and that's it. Oh right, okay. Okay, well what we'll do, we'll st save it then, we'll save the state. Right, uh... Right, anyone who wants to choose a game? I fucking hate rap music. I fucking hate it. Night law on what? Oh, Amstrad. I've got a feeling I'm not going to like it. No, we're not going to cheat. What? I don't know what he's fucking asking me. What's he fucking asking me? Let's load up another ROM. I Ask him in the same fucking. It's a different ROM. I'm still getting. What the fuck's this all about? Hello, Rachel. How are you doing? Oh, I don't want cheats. Ah, oh, fuck off. What's this? If you're gonna crack it, crack it in English. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know, I can't speak French. <laughs> right, okay, let's try and play this. I know I'm going to be absolute crap at it. Right, so left and right it turns him around. Oh, slow down. Oh my god, this is a spectrum port. Oh, bollocks. But you know, for a Spectrum pool, you know, it, it's a good Spectrum pool, you know. 
but the fucking slowdown is apparent. Oh, good thing. Thanks, Rachel. You? Oh, oh, I didn't want to go that right. Right, okay. Right, I'm not... Right, I've got to move forward. How am I going to get... No, you can't... Dad, go back, go back. This is not... This is not going to... No, it's not going well. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh, I've turned it into the wolf now. The slowdown is terrible. Oh, let's jump. Maybe I would like the controls. If you pull in a direction, it should walk in that direction. I wasn't a big fan of isometric games. I did like Head Over Hills though. What? I think you absolutely could be right there. I'm gonna try with keyboards. Could be right there, Amiga. Redo from start. All right, let's try keyboard. What are the keys? Direction. Ah, wait a minute. Directional control. Oh, right. I don't know what's going on there. All right, let's try a keyboard and let's start the game. I wonder if it's QAOP. That's jump. Right. Right, eight. Oh, all keys seem to do the same thing. Hang on, that does that. Right, that's jump. A's, oh, I don't like these keys. Don't like these keys. That's left and, that's, what? Can't work these bloody keys out. Why can't it just be QAOP or redefine? Space jump? No, that's not jump. It's Q. This just seems like the old top row does the same thing. Middle row walks, and the bottom row, bottom row rotates, and M did that. Probably better to use a joystick. Let's have another go and let's put di directional control. See what that does. Ah, that's much better. Directional, that is better. You put in the direction you want to go. That's much better. And I'm not going to be able to get through that. Gonna get through that? I don't think so. Oh balls. But the only problem is the slowdown is terrible. It looks nice. Oh, I ain't going this way. Dave, I have run out of time. Oh, I'm finding this quite annoying now. I'll have one more go. But definitely the directional, the directional is much better.
this in the middle. That's going to kill me. What's that over? Oh no, I'm turning into a wolf. Oh, I can't get that. Oh, he picks he pushed by our oh, bollocks. And I'm dead. Yeah, I feel I, I've not played this. I know it was playing famous on the Spectrum, but what? I'll oh, run out there. I'm not a fan of isometric games, but as I say, the only one I did quite like was Head Over Hills. Right, who wants to request the next one? How about nuts and milk for the Nez? Okay, we'll try that one out. Nez. No. Uh, Marble Madness. Yeah, that one bad. It's a Japanese game only. One. Oh, what's this? Looks like a platform go. Oh. How do I jump? Oh, I can't jump. Oh. Oh, I can jump. Fuck my. Alright, now I know. Okay, okay. But I can't jump when I'm on these things. Go away! Oh, you bastard! Right, so I can probably go up that, up there, there we go. Get the apples, right, okay. Ah! Oh, it's a springy thing. Oh, right, you can do that, that's good. Right, now can I go home? Help? Right, I can save you. Yeah, it's not a bad little game, actually. Right, okay. Ah, oh, you can't. Oh, I've got to go around, walk around. Okay. Oh, come on! Yay! Yeah, good question. Where's the milk? Bonus round. Oh no! It's a good little game this one. You can play up to what's that? One player game B. Let's have a look at how do I move up and down then? You can't move up and down. You can't move it up and down. That's stupid. Yay! 
Ah, yeah, I forgot about that. Ah, no, it's bloody gonna chase me, innit, bastard. Ah, you fucker. Do me a merit. Yay. Oh shit, can't go that way. No, I pushed, fucking can't jump on those things. Well, I have one more go and we'll play something else. Quite an easy level, this one. Oh no, I think so. Got to go all the way around. Keep forgetting that. Now it's going to jump over, you bastard. All right, you come over here, and I'll go that way and escape you. Now what happened? I. What a waste for. No! Damn it. Oh, that's close. Oh! Yay! God, not Ant and Dick. Ant and Dick the bastard. Ooh. Damn it! you bastard. Right, okay. I have to go around that way. No! Oh, 
Why is he doing that? Oh, fuck. Ah! Maybe I'll push fire. Yes, that's it. Yeah, I think I just did that and it worked. <laughs> right, okay. Damn it! Oh no! Damn it! It is, a good, it is good to play actually. It's quite good. I quite like it. Right, who wants to request the next one? Crazy Clowns Nez. Alright, Crazy Clown Crazy Clowns. If I've got it. No, I don't have it. <laughs> Is that got one called Crazy Creatures? Krusty's Fun House. I don't have crazy crazy climber what's that give what a go what uh, I haven't got crazy clowns well, crazy creatures. Give that one a go, you mean. Now, uh, can someone remember all these games, please? I ain't going to remember them. Crazy creatures, okay. Oh, crazy... Crazy creatures, okay. Game type one player, easy. Okay, let's see how this plays. Oh my god, what is this? So what you do here then? Well this looks What's this all about? Game over, that looks shite. to do oh right use the other mouse button oh right get three in a row nah I'm not liking this I am not liking this. Nah, 
don't like it. No, I don't like that. That's crap. Sorry, I don't like it. Right, who's is next? I'll let you. I can't bother to keep scrolling up. So, who requested the game next? Eric and the floaters on what? On the Nintendo. Spectrum, okay. Okay, here we go. Eric and the floaters, here we go. Right, fuck using, what's that? W, A, D, X, space. Can we use joystick? Have we got the option to use joystick or do I have to use keys? A, D, X and space, they're weird keys. Oh, I can use joystick. Okay, let's find out. No, it's not. I have to select it to. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Joystick. It's plugged into Kempston, so why ain't it working? No. Joystick don't work for some reason. Let's load it up again and put keyboard in. Okay, keyboard. Here we go. All right, that's what you have to do. Okay. Got it. Why don't you go? Oh, fucking. oh no, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked. Slowdown is pretty bad on... Ah, oh, shit! Let's have one more go at this. Oh, the slowdown is terrible. Oh, shit. 
Gotcha. No, go, 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 go. Oh, no. Shit. That's it. Right, who, who, who's, who's next? It's not bad. It's not bad. I know it's an early game. It's not bad for the year. Bomber man, yeah, yeah. Donkey Kong for the Nez, okay. Why does everyone like the Nez so much? <laughs> Piss off now, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Can I jump that? No, I can't. Amstrad version was pretty good. Oh shit! Ooh. Yes. Yay! Oh, there's a Vic Twenty version as well. I never knew that. <laughs> Probably didn't have the license. Alright, let's have one more go. Yeah. Let's have one more go and I'll play a rack on the Commodore 64. So this is the first ever Mario game then. Sound effects are a bit weird. Oh. Well, that was lucky. Okay. 
Done it! Ah, oh, what? Okay. Yeah, it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. At least I got off the first level at least, so that's a success. Alright. Let's play a rack on the Commodore 64. Here we go. Oh good, there's a T64 file. Hotline, what's that all about? Is it not? Oh right. Did I? Well oh, that don't look right. Why can't it start? Do I have to change the joystick settings? Swap or joysticks? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think I have played this before. How the hell do you jump? Oh, you got to push up. Oh, no, you don't. You got to push down, then push up. Oh, I finally caught one. Oh my god. This is awkward. So how do I jump? If I want to jump off, how do I jump? You can't jump diagonally. Well, that's stupid. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I've got a leg. Oh, now, oh, what's this? I don't know what I'm doing here. And now I can't get out of the menu. E? Yeah. Oh, it, what? It ends the game? Oh, I don't like the jumping mechanic on this. Alright. Oh, I've caught it, I've caught it, I know. And I've let it go. No, it's still down there. Oh, got it again. No, I don't like this game. <laughs> no, I didn't like it. Couldn't get the hang of that. Right, okay. Cyclone on the spectrum, okay. I know what that is.
cyclone, is that it? There we go. Eight percent. I'm I'm surprised I got that far. <laughs> What's DVD's request? Sorry. What's DVD's request? Sorry. Sequel to TOL. Yeah. I'll play this. I'll play this, then I'll do what's DVD's request. Sorry, I didn't see DVD's request. After the... Who requested the Lion King? I'm missing half the chat here. Right. The Lion King... All oh, right, the Lion King, okay. That's your request. All right, I'll play. Actually, I know this what this game's going to be like, so I'll play this game after the Lion King, because I know this is going to be shit, and I'm going to only play this for about two seconds. Right, let's have a look. I'll play the Lion King first, then I'll play Cyclone, because I know Cyclone's a good game. If I've got it. And I don't right the Lion King it's just called the Lion King. I don't think I've got the oh I haven't got it. I've got the Lion King and Lion King 3. I don't have Lion King 4. Team and Publet on the NES. Don't have it. I have the Lion King and the Lion King 3. As you said, if it's an hack, if it's a um, what was it a mock up? What did you say it was? Say a hacked ROM or something? Then I probably won't have it because this one that I probably have to the Lion King three. All right, we'll try the Lion King three then. bootleg ROM so I probably won't have it I'll probably have to get that from somewhere off a site what I've got is usually all commercial games all right which I choose I know I'm gonna not like it so is this it I don't think it is very jumpy it's very it's very jerky when it jumps I'm sure the Nintendo could do better than that can't go up there I don't know what am I supposed to be doing here then keep going this way oh my god it feels oh well we can swim can it oh, right. if Scrolling on it's not very good. Oh. Ah, fuck. Ah. And you got to start the level all over again. Same. I think DVD should review it then. <laughs> nah, it's not very good to be honest with you. With you this, I don't like the scrolling on this when it jumps. It's very jumpy, jerky. It's not, it's not very good, this play, I'm going to play Cyclone. Right, uh, we're Spectrum again, it's Spectrum. Uh, well I ain't got, I haven't got Discord open at the moment. Um...
Right, okay. Keyboard, I don't know the keys. I'll have to use joystick. And six. Right, okay. Oh no, you go forwards. Oh, it's fire button. Oh, oh all right, I see. Danger, the wind's coming. Oh, oh, ooh. No! Where have I got to go? Crashed. Oh, fucking hell. It's the collect the crates. Yeah, rescue survivors. Desert strike on the spectrum. <laughs> was there a desert strike on the spectrum? I don't think there was. Right, let's find these crates. Now I need to avoid the wind. I can't avoid it. I'm going to crash again. Oh, fuck it now. And that's it, Mark. You get three lives. Push it in on the people. Oh, north. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, this guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I need to find. Oh, what the fuck? I crashed into a tree. Problem is, I can't. You don't know when the wind's coming. You have to. It's all about guess. What I need is a map to see where I'm going. Well, where's the island? I have to go around the island. Oh, right. oh, 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 bloody gut, wind! Map control, map control, the wind's nearby, I can't, map, I can't, oh, no, fuck. Right, let's have a go, I'll bring up the map. That's a good idea to bring up the map. Oh, here we go. Base island. Right, that's where the wind is, so we go up. Right, I'll we'll get out of it. All right. All right, here we go. We found something. Ah, we... ah, survivors. I was trying to get somewhere. Oh, fucking hell. I crashed into the ground. <laughs> right. Even though I bought up the map. Alright, let's go this way. Oh bloody hell. It's a tough game this one.
and the wind's nearby. Hang on, where's the island? Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go, line up the helicopter. Right, let's see if we can do this. Oh, am I in line? Yay! I've got someone. Yay, you've got two people. Come on, get in. Hooray. I've accomplished something. Now I'm going to probably crash the fuck. The fuck's this? What the fuck? Emerald, why is that in Russian? I can't read Russian. Good luck. Right, wind's nearby. Fuck. Oh, survivors, come here, come here, come here. No! Oh, right, you can land it. All oh, right, the wind's fucking up. Now I need to wait till that wind disappears. Right, they're jumping. They're jumping for help. Why can't they just walk to the helicopter and get in? I've landed the thing, so oh, bastards! We well, could have walked in it. I'm gonna hit that tree now. You watch. Now I've got to endanger my fucking helicopter for this fucking bitch because she won't get out of the way of the tree! This bastard! Right, fuck off. Right, now I've got to find base. Map. Oh, that Haiti's up. Oh, that's where I am. Where's Base Island? I have to go to Base Island. And I'll probably crash now, you watch. Oh, I'm out. oh no, oh, the wind's nearby. Oh, I'm gonna crash. There it is. Oh shit. I'm gonna. Can't control. No! Fucker. Ah, what a bastard. What a bastard. Anyway, we've got a quarter of an hour. To the quiz part. What do you want to? What do you want to play? What you? What do you want me to play? Who hasn't picked yet? Make a good disaster film. Yeah, especially if I'm flying the fucking thing. But what's that? Never heard of it. Hang on, let, let someone choose if they haven't. If anyone on the list hasn't, whoever's not chose yet, then I'll play. <laughs> Might be a bit too expensive. <laughs> have you chose anything? I don't know if you have. I can't remember if you chose a game, Maltese. Actually, I can't remember. I can't fucking remember. Let's play it anyway. On the Amstrad, there we go, we'll play it. Uh, oh, here we are. 
Well that sounds interesting Maltese, you've got to bounce around and collect discs. Oh well, that really sounds interesting. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Redefine keys, excellent. Right, oh it's an isometric game. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh fuck, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll try and try. Well, what do you do? The next. Oh, this looks shit. I've briefly defined these keys all wrong. Let's, let's load it up again. Because I think I've redefined these keys all wrong. It looks shit. <laughs> so I can say it looks shit. Alright, let's keep it on joystick. And let's easy. Right, well, what's going on here? All oh, right, so this is the get. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's saying this is looks quite. Why is it working properly? This is this is slow. And it's crap. I'm not liking this. It's slow. It's a spectrum pull. I've got seven lives. Right, okay, one more. Come on. Thing on the spring's better than this. Ah, oh, this is crap. Oh, you can choose. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Someone please pick me. Someone choose a good game. This is rubbish. Why can't I? Why? Definitely Stefano. Definitely. Kung Fu on the Nez, it's got to be better than this shit. Why does everyone like the Nez so much? Here we go. Right, okay. Start. Oh, this is. I know what this is. This is Kung Fu Master. Right, button A is kick, button 2 is punch, and up is jump. Oh! Actually, this ain't a bad, too bad of a version. It's definitely playable. Not as good as the Commodore 64 version, mind you, but it's definitely playable. Certainly, well, anything's better than the Spectrum version. Damn it. Fuck. Oh, 
I've not played that, I don't think I've played that version yet, the remake. Yes. All right. Now, this is going to be a bust of a level, this one. Ah! Damn it! How you talk, you bastards? Oh shit! Oh, I've got that far though. Mr. Kung Fu. What's that on? Mr. Kung Fu. Mr. Kung. Oh, the Spectrum. Oh, the Spectrum version. Okay. Okay, I'll add that one to the list. Mr. Kung Fu. Okay, right, it's on the list. There's quite a lot on the list at the moment. Uh, so, well, but I will do it. I've done pretty much. I've done pretty much on the list. So, it's just we're gonna get round to it now. Okay, I'll have a look at that one. Uh, right, uh, got about four minutes. Does anyone want to pick the last game? That's a good version, no, that. That's a good version. Definitely worthy of a review. So that might be a ROM that I might have to download, actually, because I know it's a, it's a remake, so I won't have it. So I'll have to download it. I said we just fucking go on to the quizzes now. It's only three minutes. Oh, well, I can go and get my beers and we can start. It's up to you. Yep, you're absolutely right there, Maltese. I need a beer. But, you know, still three minutes yet. So it's up to you. We can start now. Beer, glorious beer, yes. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. You're too hungover. <laughs> what are you drinking tonight then? <laughs> Literally forgotten every game. <laughs> yeah. Not drinking anything. Well, what did you drink? <laughs> Oh, you're too, oh, right, you're hungover from the night before. Oh, I see. God, what's it like, Matt, with me? What was you drinking last night, then? <laughs> Actually, I was drinking last night. <laughs> that would be a good one, actually, Dave. That would be a good one. A, a retro... Gaming quiz. That would be quite good if there was such a quiz about. I think you'd all be good at that. Fizzy wine. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> okay, it's eight o'clock now, so choose what do you want to start the quiz? What do you want to start with tonight? Blockbusters, okay. Blockbusters it is. Okay, let's get it running and I'll go and get my beers. Come on, what's going on? Here we go. Do Mark 1, that's better. Question blocks to start with. What do you want? Pick a number. Four. All right, DVD. Okay, I'm going to go and get my drinks and well, I'll be back in less than five minutes and you know what I'm going to do so I know you're going to put it up and no, I'm not going for a dump Thank you. 
Okay. Right, one player. Right, okay. What are is where you can Occasionally find stationary taxi. A, st what, a railway station, sure. Rank, taxi rank. Taxi rank. Sometimes life isn't worth living. Why is that? A rank. Yes, well done, New Wave Dave, or Neil Desperandum. Right, okay, where do you want to go? Remember, we're going across the... the... I don't know what you put there, um, Pano. A T, all right, a T. A T, T. Right. Or is it Greek? I don't know. What T is the number made by multiplying a hundred by ten? Thousand. Correct. Well done, classics. Where do you want to go now? P. Okay. What P is Scott? Scots or, or American for the little finger or a character in Brighton Rock. Pinky, of course. No! Ah, oh, fuck off! That's, that's stupid, you know... Ah... Oh. Oh shit, uh, what J comes before tar and after sleeping? Yeah, to damn right they should. What comes? Jerry? What J comes before Jerry? Steeple, steeple. Jack! Steeple Jack. Yeah. Sleeping. What the fuck? We're not on the ball tonight. Right, where do you want to go? Yeah, everyone got that one. It was Jack. Or was it G? <laughs> right, K. Okay, K. What K is applied to close close cousins because of the way they are greeted? Right, kin. 
I'll go with Stefano Kin, I think he's right. Kin? No, it's Kin. I should have listened to Dave. I should, fucking, what is going on with me tonight? I should have listened to. I should have. Stefano usually gets them right. So, but then again, so does Dave. Anyway, I do apologise. Anyway. What F can be <coughs> in kettles, on coat collars, or on a unhealthy tongue? Fur. Spank the monkey. Hello? <laughs> Fur. Yes, well done everyone. Where do you want to go? An N. Okay. What N do you turn up when you scorn something? Be a Gabriel song, okay. A nose, a nose, of course it is. Correct answer, well done. Wow, where do you want to go? A G. Do we have G? Oh, we had G. Right, D. Right, what D is a light sleep? A doze, of course it is. Well done. Where do you want to go? Not on camera, you won't. <laughs> Not on camera. An S. Well, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What's happened here? I've chose S. S was flashing. What T is another word for... That's a fuck up. Right, so... Supposed to go for him and then we got a T. Tepid, yeah. Well done. That was weird. Never seen that happen before. Right, where do you want to go? O. So I wonder what letter we're going to get. What O was the accident Greek king who solved the riddle of the Sphinx? Fellow, I don't know who's got who's painter. <laughs> so, could it be Orfello or is he men? So, is that a hundred percent Orfello? Oh, painter called Greek, yeah, of course. That's right. Not all fellow. All 
Oh, order for what about Stefano's answer? What about Classics' answer? One of those two, perhaps? Go with Stefano. No, was a character in a drama. <laughs> what should we go for? What about um, classics? Is the answer. Oh, what answers do you think I should go with? Stefano's classics. Now Stefan's Italian. Over a duck. <laughs> oh right, so you do have Greek. Okay. So go with you say go with Stefano's answer. Say so Stefano's. Alright, I'll go with Okay, I'll go with um Oh fucking hell. Yes, Stefano was right. <laughs> That's blockbusters. Let's have another go. Right, what I is a way of travelling with name, name, clothes and character concealed often resulted by royalty. So by to by royalty. Incognito, of course. Incognito. Correct. Well done. Well, where do you want to go now? A W. What W follows forty or tidy? Winks. Yeah, right. Winks. Of course. Tiddly winks. Forty winks. Yeah. Right. Where do you want to go now? V. Why are you going up the board? We're going across the board. What V was the most famous 17th century painter from Delft? See, we got to go across the ball because we're human players. <laughs> the computer can go up. At least you can play two players on this. So that would be an unfair advantage, really. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Yeah. Oh, Vermeer, 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 whatever it is. You. What you is the hand you get when you get better off. Get better off someone. What you is a hand you get. Upper, yeah, of course, upper hand. Correct, well done. What? I was about I was about to blow up for a second there. Why was I about to blow up? 
E. Okay. What E was the pen name for Arthur, author of the mill on the floss? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right there, classics, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Any Blyton? I can't fucking spell to save my life. I don't know, does anyone know? <laughs> what, the cut, copy and paste? <laughs> no idea, I don't think anyone knows. Oh, hang on. George Elliot. Out. Yes, Stefano. Right, where do you want to go? Eddie <laughs> Eagle. A Q. Okay, we'll go for a Q. What Q is an ad hoc female pedigree cat? <coughs> Cunt. <laughs> A queen. Well done, Rachel. I never knew that, actually. And what do you want to go for? A J. Right. Okay. A J. What J is the town in, oh, and uh, what, where? That is given its name into it to Sherry. And uh, wherever that is. Check shit. <laughs> Does anyone want to take a guess? Spain somewhere. No, I don't like Sherry. Jerks, let's try, let's find out. Oh fuck. Correct answer, well done Paino. That's Blockbusters. Right. Let's have some Trivial Pursuit.
Right, it was a two. Oh, C. Right, okay. Start the game. Yerez. Yes, Yerez. Heref. Heref. That's how it's pronounced, isn't it? Heref. Yeah, used to Formula One used to race there. What do they still do? I, I should know that, but yeah. Right, um, right. What colour you want to go for? Silver screen. Where is silver screen? I don't, have we got it? Oh, you see, it's up there. It's like everything. Dave, everything's just not the same. What chart on the Heston sci-fi film was set in Manhattan in the year 2022? Silent Green? Silent Green, okay. Well done! Yep. Fourteen? Bloody hell! You got drunk when you was fourteen. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> but you was a right raver in your day. I bet you still are. <laughs> right, would you want to go for silver screen or orange? Silver screen. Which 1970s film had asterisks between the four letters of its mash? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, here we go, RPM. I remember the television series. Oh, what was the Elvis version of O oh Solo Mayo? <laughs> and Jason, what well, thirty? Whoa. <laughs> it's now or never well done Dave that's a wedge good start Right, so we're off to a good start. So orange, orange, or orange. What was... Hang on, what's that? Hang on, just got distracted by something else there. Valentina... Trescott, Trescott, Trescott... Oh, what the fuck, it's Russian. Claim to fame in 1963. The first woman in space. Uh, hence by the symbol there. She was the first woman. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Plast on champagne when you ten fucking hell Jesus Animals <laughs> Six Right what do you want to go for orange or silver screen? Apparently what my mother told me I got I got pissed on a bottle of 
baby sham when I was about three months old or three years old. Three years old, I think. <laughs> if that was true or not, I don't know. RPM, okay. Yeah, but come on, I was three years old. Who's <laughs> <laughs> 1969 comeback? Did this song, that was Elvis, wasn't it? Well, I don't know if I could win because I couldn't remember. To, I couldn't remember to witness it. So, <laughs> right, it's Elvis. Yeah, well done. Well done. Two, grey. Five. Oh, shitty colour wedge. Which country ejected Rod Stewart for bankruptcy before he took up grave digging? Australia, that's a guess. <laughs> um, it's for a wedge, remember? So we've got to get this one. We've got to be 100% on this. Um, we've got one for Australia and one for America. So the majority is with Pano at the moment, Australia. So, should we go with Australia? Okay, we'll go with Pino. Australia! Spain! No! Never mind. Four, right. Uh, silver screen or orange? He said new, Whitney New Country. <laughs> silver screen, okay. What 1965 Bond film finds 007 battling Thunderball? Even classics knew it. Right, we can go for shitty again. What model was nicknamed the shrimp? Thunderball wasn't one of my favourites, to be honest with you. It was just so it was quite boring that one that film Jerry Hall yep 
Yeah, it was. Yeah. Is there any James Bond films shown on telly these days? It's not like I care anymore because I've got the Blu-ray box set, but you know, it was a, a thing, wasn't it, when a Bond film comes on the telly? You know, it was a thing back in the day. Getting too, uh, it's just getting too stupid. What they can show on TV, fucking getting stupid. But that's why I don't watch TV anymore. It's just crap. It's all crap. Timothy Dalton, yeah, he's, he was a good Bond. It's just a pity he only made two. But my my favourite Bond would always be Roger Moore. I know they're bringing out, um, they've got a new one coming out this year, I think. I think it's Daniel Craig's last Bond film. Jamie Bond, yes, yes, yeah. If the, if the snowflakes and all the SJWs get their own way, it will be a female Bond. Tell you what, if uh, what's his name? Ah, oh, bloody old name escapes me now. The one that did the books. Uh, oh fuck! <sighs> Can't think of his name now. Who wrote the books? I know who it is, but I just can't think of his name. Ian Fleming. If Ian Fleming was alive today, he'd turn in his fucking grave. Yeah, <laughs> classic said greed. Yeah. He would. And Cubby Broccoli. And who the fuck is that? Excuse me. Anyway, let's get back to the question. What model was nicknamed the shrimp? And this is for a wedge, remember? <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not being funny, but James Bond should be a bloke and should be white. Not being racist or anything like that, but that's, that's what James Bond is. It's like trying to change Lara Croft. Given the SJWs, they'll probably change her from a woman to a bloke. No, Lara Croft is a woman. 
James Bond is a bloke. End of story. <laughs> Liam Croft. <laughs> Well, what is a pity she wasn't called Leslie Croft because they wouldn't have a problem with changing the name because <laughs> Leslie's a boy, a man's and a female, a ma male and female name. So if you had a name that's unisexual, so it, that wouldn't matter. I mean, you can hardly call James. You can't really have a woman called James, can you? That ain't going to work. We can change it to Jamie, I guess. <laughs> God. Lenny Croft. Larry Croft. God, why did I have to fuck things up? It is what it is. Accept it. doesn't dawn on someone they can ch create a new character if they want to stupid Twiggy let's see is it Twiggy Gene Shrimpton who the fuck's that obviously the shrimp I've never heard of Gene Shrimpton but there you go Right, uh, Grace. Six. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, we've, we'd, would you want to go for shitty colour or red? Doesn't matter what way we go. Actually, no, I, no, it doesn't matter what way. We've got the blue one, haven't we? But we still need to get the orange anyway. So it don't matter. It's a shitty colour. All right, take care, Mark Blaster. Thanks for coming on. Right, who was the most famous blind guitarist of the 1960s? Wasn't that... Uh, I don't know, actually. Why should there be a male Lara Croft? There's already romance in the stone. That's true actually, yeah. That was a good film that was. Michael Douglas. John Lee Hooker. Is it John Lee Hooker? find out Jordan Nile oh, no, both good films I've actually got them both on blu-ray it was Jose whatever his name Lee yeah bollocks whatever his name is right gray five We've already got that, so let's go for orange. Where did Jean Cernan go? Go that no man has gone since. 
Where did Jean's sermon go that no man has been since? To the moon. The moon, well done. <laughs> Two, grey. Ah, uh, what is that, grey again? Three, grey again. Three, grey again. Six, orange or RPM. RPM. What was over for the Seekers in 1965? Their career? The carnival. The carnival. Well done, the carnival. Classics and Dave. Still think Neil Desperadum sounded better. That had a catchy name. Right, Orange Wedge. Which of the great train robbers got 25... <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> which, of the, which of the great train robbers got 25 years in January 1969? Biggs, Ronnie Biggs. Ronnie Biggs. No, Bruce Fult Bruce Reynolds. Right. Ah, oh, that was for a fucking wedge and all. Oh. Right. Okay, blue or shitty colour. I've never seen that film, Buster. Because I just can't imagine Phil Collins acting. <coughs> I want to know why True Lies haven't got... Why, why hasn't True Lies got a Blu-ray um, release? <laughs> right, what are we going for? Shitty colour or blue? That's what's the Blue. Okay, excuse me. That's no reason. Someone else can put it on Blu-ray. He doesn't have to do it. What song starts? The road is long, with many, with many a winding turn. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. Well done. Yes. You all got that one? That's bullshit, he should. Fucking put it on Blu-ray. Put it on DVD, why not Blu-ray? Right. But he put fucking Terminators on 4K. So if he can do that, he can do what should we call it? True Lies on Blu-ray. Right. 
silver screen or blue Yeah, but the thing is, I don't, I don't collect movies on DVD. I won't buy them on DVD. I will only buy them on Blu-ray now. Right, blue. You know, if it's television programs like classics, then I buy them on DVD. Because I do not see the point of putting buying Blu-rays like Red Dwarf. I re released all the original ones on Blu-ray. I don't see the point. What pirate radio station was observed in John Fenmore's Roland's 1967 book? Radio Caroline? You know, how they, you've got to realise something else. How can they transfer them onto Blu-ray when it was shot on like a video tape? It weren't filmed. didn't use film. So how can they upscale something that was shot on tape? Okay. Hey, it's Jack. Through the frame, my stuff. Oh, 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 what? Um, I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that. The news. Mind you, the last, the only two good Terminator films was the the first two. Then they started going downhill. I've not seen Terminator Salvation. That's the only one I haven't seen. But Terminator Genesis weren't that great. So I can only imagine, you know, the first two were the best. To me, the first two was the best. The third one was okay. It wasn't a Cameron film, that's why. Be well, what I've seen the Blu ray release will be out next month, early next month, on the new Radio Caroline. Yep, well done. It said Radio Caroline, well done. Right, what? Oh, RP, we ain't got it, we ain't got it. What went wrong with... Right, what went wrong when... His brother was still alive. His brother weren't dead at all. Right, yep, yeah, well done. And we finally got the second wedge. It started off well, then it went downhill. Now we finally got another wedge. Okay, hopefully we're back on track. Three, where do you want to go? Red or orange? <laughs> orange, okay.
who was sworn in at, in as the 56 US Security of State in se September 1973 year before I was born Henry Kissinger Right, Henry Kissinger, well done. Six, right, grey. Hang on a minute. Oh, we need to come over here anyway. Right, six, again, right, where do you want to go? RPM or orange? Right, news, what's news? Uh, orange, okay, orange. What mission series preceded the Apollo series? Ah, uh, wasn't that? German eye. No, it wasn't Sputnik. That's Russian. Russian Sputnik was a Russian satellite. Put. I reckon it's German eye. Yeah, well done. It's German eye. Oh, who's sending me emails now? Fucking hell. Hang on a minute. A shitload of emails. Fuck that. Uh, okay. No, that's quick. Just went through them quickly. <laughs> right, okay, sorry. Um, right, six, grey. Three, where do you want to go? Oh, grey. Three, where do you want to go? Grey. Six, where do you want to go? Orange or RPM? RPM What Calypso singer had his only British number one with Mary's Boy Child in nineteen fifty seven? I'm not even going to say that, classics. Lint Harrison, Harry Belafonte. Eh? Boney M. Boney M was the seventies. Yeah, you're right. So, well, Harry Belafonte. Eh? Let's have a look. Well done, Rachel. Nice one. Right, where do you want to go? RPM or red? Red, okay. <laughs> Was a pair of these first seen on a Vulcan? What? Seen on a Vulcan on TV in 1961, 66 or 68. Right, what is it and what they're referring as the Vulcan? Are they talking about the plane? <laughs> Fucking Vulcan. <coughs> it's me thinking of the Vulcan bomber. Uh, what pair of these were first shown? <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> I don't know what the f 
fuck it was oh, it's me thinking of a Vulcan bomber right okay Star Trek 61, 66 or 68 right 66 100% okay 66 well done classics Jason got there first actually well done anyway I know, I wonder where Pete is. He hasn't, I don't know where he's, he, 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 he talks to me on Facebook sometimes. Uh, but he never comes in any streams. Right, blue. Right, blue wedge. On what did the hooker, hooker smoking caterpillar put? Perch in Alice Adventures in Wonderland. A toadstool. Sound confident? Toadstool? No! Do you know what? I'm going to let you have that one. I'll let you have that one because they're pretty much the same thing, aren't they? A toadstool, a mushroom, even though I think they're different, but I always visualise them being the same thing. And that's another wedge. Rachel says the same thing. I totally agree. It's the same thing. Right, okay, so we've got three wedges. Right, okay, where do you want to go? Orange or red? Red, okay. So we need orange and shitty colour and red. Right, who could not be shown from the waist down on the Ed Sullivan show. Ringo Starr, Elvis, Elvis, right, two from Elvis. Elvis Presley, why? Was he fucking naked or something? Three, oh, orange wedge. I know, they like their Elvis. Which country beat the USA by one point in the Olympic final in 1972? Wasn't that the USSR? What this part, the picture part, USSR, right? The USSR, it's the USSR. Well done, everyone. And that's another wedge. It's a bit with a board. Oh, it's a picture bit. Right, uh. Right, blue it has to be blue. We need, um,. Shitty colour and red. Let's try and go for shitty colour, I guess. What was that, Jack? Why did you retract the message? Why do you keep retracting messages, Jack? Who won five Grammys in March 1974 for his album Innovation? Innovision. In Innovision. I don't know, I just, if it's just a normal question, you know, 
if it's right it doesn't matter because we're not getting nothing but I'll make it more stricter on the wedges you know we've got to be more stricter because I, I, I created the rules <laughs> um, I don't know right Stevie Wonder, well done. So Classics got that one. Did anyone else? I think Classics got that one. Well done, Classics. Are you sure you're not cheating? No one's Googling, are they? <laughs> not me. The computer said that. Like they had Google back then. <laughs> Perhaps they knew the future. I don't know. But, oh, 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 we've already got it. Ah, uh, we'll have to go for blue. I know you're not, classics, I know you're not. Who sang the 1973 hit, You Are the Sunshine of My Life? You are the sunshine of my life. I know the tune. I know the tune. Ray Chart. Don't worry, just just play along, Rachel. Just play along, because I'm not even sure of the rules. Sometimes I change the rules <laughs> depending. Right, it's Steve, Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder! Well done, Stevie Wonder. I want to ask you a question, Rachel. I know you had the Amstrad CPC, but what other consoles or computers did you own? And what Amstrad CPC? Was it the 464? Right, grey. Two. Shitty colour wedge. Which beetle named his son Zack? That's such a seems such an American name. But it ain't, I know it isn't, but everyone seems to be called Zack in America. Not everyone, but Seems more common in America. Uh, Ringo Starr. Right, Ringo Starr. Well done. And that's another wedge. Brilliant. Right, um, right. Now we need uh, the red one. So we need to go in this direction. Actually, it doesn't matter what direction, it's still the same limb. You had a big 20. One of the first computers I ever played on, actually. CPC 464. Sega Mega Drive, PlayStation, PlayStation 2. Okay, that's some good stuff then. Right, what TV series featured a shop called The Cabin? <laughs> Coronation shit. Coronation Street. Yes, well done. Coronation Street. It was the first two computers I ever played on was a VIC-20 and a ZX Spectrum 48K. They were the first two. Right, we've already got that. Oh, no, we've already got that, but we've got to go for it anyway. I know it's not a wedge, 
but we gotta go for it anyway. I had an Amstrad CPC 464, Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga 500, Commodore Amiga 1200, then PC, consoles, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and Nintendo Wii. That's it. That's all I owned. Right. During which year in the 1960s was Coventry Cathedral opened? Um, primary school, there was a BBC Micro, yes. Um, we also had those, I don't think anyone will remember, probably you will remember them. They were called Link Computers, a big thing, big black computer. Um, a big black metal computer. They were called Links. And they got, then a newer version come out, which was a basically a creamy colour, like an Amiga type colour. Commodore 64, like the uh, Commodore 64C, that sort of colour. Do you remember those link computers? That's what we had in school, and they had more of those than BBC Micros. I think they were made by RM, Research Machines. I've not played Granny's Garden. I think back in primary school there was um, RM Nimbus. Yeah, I remember those. We had them at high school. We had them at our high school. Yeah, right. I went to a posh school. Yeah, fucking right. I did. Right. I think, if anything, I bet you all, in your, where you are, I bet you went for a more posher school than I ever fucking did. Addington High School, yeah, that was fucking posh, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I remember one of our classrooms got petrol bombed, it was that posh. Fights after school. Someone got pregnant at school, I remember that. Yeah, posh, all right, yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, during which year? 60 was commentary cathedral opened. Did anyone say anything? I don't think so. Eighty six? No, it's nineteen sixties. Jack, are you stoned? You was five in 1986. Uh, I was. I was twelve. Kids. Bloody hell. You were 16 in 86. Mm. So you just left school in 86. I left school in 90. 30 years ago I left school. Yeah, I've noticed that. Everyone's got electronic gates. You know, sometimes I walk past my old school. And just, bloody hell, the outside's all changed like Fort Knox now.
Okay, six in eighty six. I left oh, in ninety three. I left in nineteen ninety. And I was fucking glad to leave school. Fucking glad. You know, when I was when I got my first job, earning money, I was fucking happy. Ninety eight. I was getting pissed in ninety eight. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting pissed. I remember '98 quite well because it was the France '98 World Cup. Oh my god, we got fucked out of our heads fucking during that World Cup. <laughs> fucking awesome World Cup. Probably one of the best. Probably one of the best World Cups. Not for England itself, but for us because we was just we was just p getting pissed every day. <laughs> You dropped out. Shit. Shit, Stefano. Didn't know that. Whoa. Good. Classics. Good. Good. <laughs> hey, Jason. Yeah. We don't need no education. Yep. I think I started school when that song came out back in 79. Yeah, it's just bollocks, such a score. Oh. Fucking hell, classics. Anyway, does anyone know the question? Answer this question. When in the 1960s? You smashed a guy's skull in. Fucking elf club. Fucking elves. <laughs> I thought you was a peaceful country. I thought it was a peaceful country, Holland. Because you're all stoned over there. I thought it was a peaceful country. Fucking elf. Sixty-seven. What? No, I can't imagine you being a square, Rachel. I can't imagine you being a right square. I can imagine you being a right raver. Oh, sixty-seven. Sorry, sorry, Rachel. Who's guessing the question? All right, we'll go with Rachel's answer. Sixty-two. At least you had a guess. Right. Would Where do you want to go? What, what, what do we need? The uh, red. We need to go for a silver screen. Rachel, what was your... Oh, that's not nice. What 1962 film saw Omar Sharif in the role of Sheriff... Sheriff Ali? Lawrence of Arabia. Absolutely correct there. Classics, well done. A swat. Right, okay. Well you got your brain, you got you must gotta be intelligent. You know, nothing wrong with that. 
Right, orange or shitty colour. Shitty colour. I don't know, I probably would. It depends really, because there's not there's a lot of people I wouldn't want to see. But there's a few a few that I would like to see. A lot you know, I'm a lot of well, the mates that I got, I go out drinking with, you know, I see the majority of my schoolmates. I said that wrong. A couple of them are my schoolmates, Raj and Rob. Well, you know, Raj and Rob. You've seen them on my videos. Um, they're my school. They were my schoolmates. Known them since school. What superstar owned a restaurant in California called the Hogs Breath Inn? Clansman! Welcome back, mate! It's been a few streams, but you're always welcome to any stream, mate. And it's because of you we're playing this game. This is the <laughs> you is your idea to play Trivial Pursuit on the streams. <laughs> We got some new. I think we got some new faces in here, like Rachel. You know, I think you know. I think you know everyone else. I think you know everyone else. I think you might know Jack. Obviously, you know Maltese. You know Classics. You know Era. You know um, New Wave Dave is Neil Desperandum. So you remember Neil. Um, yeah, we still got the same old faces and new faces and new. Excuse me. Right, what superstar owned a restaurant in California called the Hogs Breath Inn? I ain't got a clue. Eastwood. Okay. Right, Clint. Right. Clint Eastwood. Right. Okay, we'll go with Clint Eastwood. What are Maltese? Uh, right, blue or silver screen? Silver screen? Okay.
Who played Alf? <laughs> we all know this. We all know this. No, I can't fucking. <laughs> oh my god! Warren Mitchell. Warren Mitchell. Well done, well done, Klansman. Well done, Klansman. <laughs> Sick. Oh, we go for the red wedge. Final wedge. What captain featured in the Muppet series with the Mysterons? All right, Paino. Thanks for coming on, mate. Take care of yourself. Captain Scarlet. Captain Scarlet, World on Classics. Right, now the center. Right, shitty color. Who created the catchphrase with his 1956 hit, 1956 hit, See You Later Alligator? Oh, cl classic. Oh, I would like to see Klansman play, um, um, oh, what's it called? Quiplash. For you love it. How would I describe you, Jack? I don't know. A fucking pothead? I don't care. I don't know. <laughs> there's, a, there's a question. There is a question. Hill, by, Hill Haley. 95% Hill Haley. Okay, that's 75%. Okay. James Callahan. And that was a wedge, wasn't it? Uh, oh well, never mind. No, it won't. It wasn't a wedge because we already got the wedge. Doesn't matter. Right, there we, hang on. Let's go for it again. Um, there is a curiosity question here that uh, Maltese wants to ask. Or Maltese has this. He thinks that you're G. Are you G? Jack, are you G? What strip cartoon character was born at the Daisy Hill Poppy Farm? And I'll be right mm -hmm. back because I need to go for a fucking piss.
Okay. No, you're not G. Jack said. Jack says he's not G. I hope not, Rachel. I hope no. I hope we don't see any more trolls. You know, for recent, I have not seen many trolls coming on my channel. Um, I did a while ago. I did. I went for a phase when I was getting a lot of channel, a lot of trolls. But probably because I block them, I block the trolls. You know, perhaps I block them. You know, because I blocked them, they go somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know Nick. What Nicholas? Even a Andrew hasn't even been on my. Hasn't been on the stream for a while. That's all right, Clansman. Just don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm doing good. Good. Glad you're back, mate. I'm glad you're back. How are you? Anyway, does anyone know this question? You ain't sleep by the hamstring. Oh, the hamstring. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I was on Stefano's stream. Stefano, you know. He does these, um, you know, quick flash, these jackbox games. Whole lot of fun. It's a whole lot of fun. Stefano got me into quick flash. <laughs> really, really good game. Really love it. Gets everyone, you know, it gives its interaction at the end of the day. It's, it's just brilliant. If you got any questions for Jack, ask him. <laughs> Class was his name. <laughs> right. Does anyone know this question? I don't think I don't even know the question. I, no, I know the que I, I can see the question, but I don't know the answer for it. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, ask. He's asking. He, Jack saying, if you got a question, ask him. Ask him what you want. fish <laughs> oh Snoopy right Snoopy sorry sorry well done Klansman well done everyone that said Snoopy. Well done. Six. Right, uh, where do you want to go? Silver screen, okay. Where's silver screen? Where where is it? 
Well, I don't think there is no silver screen. There is no silver screen. Yes, you did, Clansman. Yes, you did. I remember that. Yeah. Red. Okay. Red it is. Which member of Dad's army was in Bootsy and Sn Snudgel? Snudge? Whatever. I've done seventy-five percent. Can anybody up the ante? <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's not for wedge. Or should we go? I'll go for half a low. Right, we got half a low. Clive done. Half a low or Clive done. Clive done. Well done. Okay, right. Say hello to Maltese TV John from Jack because Maltese apparently you blocked Jack. That was the message from Jack. I'm just relaying the message to you. Right, where do you want to go? Red RPM silver screen. Shitty colour or orange silver screen. Okay. How many puppies were left in Lady's litter at the end of Lady and the Tramp? I might have seen it, but I can't remember it because it was when I was a child. It must have been when I was a child. Walt Disney is something I would not watch. Not, whoa, 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 whoa. When I say Walt Disney, there's certain films that I will watch. Well, how many parts? 101. Four. 101 Dalmatians is a different film. Lady and the Tramp was something completely different. Right, blue, red, Shitty, no, we ain't got. Should we have got a shitty color orange or RPM? No silver screen. Oh, something else, um, Clansman. We're no longer playing pub trivia quiz because when it reached to ten pounds, it went back to three pounds. <laughs> What's going on? Is, is this, tell me if the streams streams fucked up. No one's talking. Orange. Oh, if someone's talking. Good. 
Jason. <coughs> Excuse me. What famous England English meadow was given a free acre shrine in memory of JF Kennedy? <laughs> I think we did, but I don't think I can't remember. <laughs> Right, Jack, I've got a message from you from Maltese. If you behave yourself in Twitch, you're going to get reinstated. Oh my god, I'm the fucking middleman here. Closed channel, how you doing? Right, Maltese Falcon. Hang on. What English meadow was given a four acre shrine in the Hang on. Mad Commodore, I had a feeling it was you. I had a feeling it was you. Because I just saw the logo and I thought, hang on, is that Mad Commodore? Let's find out, because I don't know if we're going to know. It's Runnymede. Did anyone say Runnymede? I don't think no one said Runnymede. No! Sorry, Stefano. You was absolutely right. I do. I told. I didn't. See, I didn't see your fuck. I didn't see the. I didn't see it. I totally apologise. I totally apologise to you, Stefano. Totally apologise. You got that one right. I reckon Stefano got that one right. One for a wedge. So don't worry about it. Right. Okay. It did, it was there, it did, it did, I just missed it, I missed, the, I missed your answer, I totally, I totally apologise for that. Right, red, silver screen, you know the rest. Exactly, Klansman, exactly. <laughs> Something we always do well. <laughs> right, where are we going to go? A dedicated... Oh, what? Like when I had a go at Andrew. You know, I only had a go at Andrew. I had made him a video because he just kept on fucking... Every time I told him, don't keep reminding me, and he kept on fucking reminding me. You know. That got on my nerves. If I want to promote drugs or something like that, I'll think of you, Jack. <laughs> Yeah, we're all, we're all still here, Klansmen. We're st all still here. The only person I haven't seen for a while is um, Starshine. I haven't seen Starshine for a while. Anyway, what are we doing? What are we doing? Come on. Oh, silver screen. Okay, I really need to pay attention more. 
Right, here we go. What in drugs? I bet you are. You live in the country where you're full of. <laughs> you should be experienced. Which John Wayne film was the first feature film to examine the Vietnam War? The Green Berets. World well on classics. Yeah, that's good, Jack. It's good, Jack. It's best to always have fun. That's the best thing about life, is having fun. Right. <laughs> right, where do you want to go? Orange, blue, red, RPM, silver screen. So I see you got uh, Dog Tanyan up there, Klansman now. Always think of you. When I think of Klansman, I always think of Stan Butler. Right. RPM. Okay. RPM it is. Where is RPM? Here we go, down here. Get you, Butler. Get you, Butler. Get you, Butler. Get you butler. 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 Right. What was the first number one for Car Cliff? What was the first number one for Cliff Richard? A smack in the face. Sorry. Oh, did you? Fucking hell. I'm sorry. Actually, you did. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm I'm losing the plot all round. Living Doll. Living Doll, world well on Clansman. Buddy, this game's taking forever tonight, isn't it? Six. Fucking hell. This is taking forever. Where do you want to go? Right, we'll go for silver screen. Okay. Who played the song the first time in Play Misty For Me? Oh, we always chat bollocks. We always chat bollocks. Nothing wrong with that. What shitty troll? Troll? What troll? What troll? Is a troll in here? If, I, if there's a troll in there, I can't see him. I've already, I've probably already blocked him, but I don't know how to get him past, even though I've blocked him. Hit him. I don't know how YouTube works. All I can say to you, if there's a troll in here, just block him. Just block him. Then you won't see him. I don't see any troll. Probably because I've already blocked the troll. If you see any trolls, just block them. That's all I'm saying to you. Just block them. Then you won't see them again. Okay, because that's our... You know, I'm not... You know... That's up to you at the end of the day, but that's how I'll remember you is Stan Butler. <laughs> Always think of you as Stan Butler. I don't know. I didn't see him in the first place. So it might have been a troll. And I didn't see him. Okay. Right. Well, who sang the song? Does anyone know? Um, Never change your Commodore. That's alright. Don't need to change. 
no one you don't need to change did he? oh Bob Grant yeah of course he did yes Of course he did, yeah, yeah he did. Oh, um, the, the Jack, Jack from on the bus is Jack, you know, the bus conductor. Not Jack Aken, Jack from on the buses. No, don't have to change anything. Yeah, I did review. I've reviewed both of them on the Commodore 64. Stan and all of that. Stan! Robert Flack. Roberta Flack. Okay. Well done, Stefano. Now we need to get to that middle. That's what we need to do. <laughs> oh, fucking come on. Come on, where do you want to go? Silver screen. God, this game is taking a long, long time tonight. What was James Bond's favourite? Champagne. Bollinger's, wasn't it? Was it Bollinger's? That's that's a beer. Bollinger. Is it Bollinger? Oh. Don Perignon. Don Perignon. You're at, yeah. I think it could be Don Perignon. Yes. Well done. Closed channel. Mad Commodore. Oh, I think you as Mad Commodore. Classics. Maltese. Got there. Yeah. I should have known that actually. Oh, come on. Where do you want to go? Silver screen? I bet. Excuse me. This game's taking forever, isn't it? Only drink I know is Tetley. Tetley, yeah, but you know Tetley makes better and all. Which film company produced Mary? A oh, fucking Disney. Fucking Disney. Oh, come on! You're doing this... Fucky. Come on! <laughs> you only get an Uwe Taifu. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> oh, Frankie Howard, weren't it? Frankie Howard. Red. Red, red, red. Oh, I didn't want to go for that red. We're fucking miles out of shit. Who was Fred Flintstone's friend and neighbour? Barney Rubble. Right, I know we're not going to get free. We'll have to... Right, just, just fucking... Come on. Why were bomb disposal experts parachuted into... The Atlantic in May 1972. <laughs> you only get a hug from a bachelor's mug. Does anyone know this? So I'll just go for this. I'll just go for it. Was it the QE2? Did anyone guess that? I don't know. IRA. Because of a QE2 bomb hoax. Oh well. Wow, well, come on. RPM.
Who's saying I don't believe in if anymore? I don't believe in if anymore in 1970. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't believe in if anymore. Wasn't Cliff Richard, was it? Nah, wasn't. So, nah, I'm not. That's a, that I'm thinking of a different tune. Yeah, Roger Redicar. No, we didn't know that. Who gives? Come on, fucking go for it. Oh, fuck off, silver screen. I'm just gonna pick what's closer in future. This is getting, it's getting too slow. Who was Donald Duck's girlfriend? I don't know. Quackers. Daisy. Daisy, yes, Daisy Duck, well done classics, well done Jason, well let's just fucking get to the middle, Klansman, well done, let's get to the middle, oh fuck off, just go for fucking something, yep Jack, which year did, which year in the 60s saw the last official hanging in Britain? I don't know. 1961, no it won't, who cares. For it, oh, fuck's sake, come on! Who appeared in the film The Road to Hong Kong and later starred in TV's Dynasty? Is it Bing Crosby? Joan Collins. Joan Collins, yes. Come on, just let us fucking end the game. One! Oh, fuck you! Alright, Steph. Okay. After. Well, I probably won't be on, but. Stefano's gonna roast after this stream. It'll be about half ten. Help, well done. I'll try and get at least one game of quick flashing. Oh, fuck you! Come on! Who portrayed the ugly in the good, bad, and the ugly? No, we've got to complete this game. We've got to finish it. I'm not going to save this. Right, okay. Yes, well done. I'll try and get through this. As quick. I'm going to just try and get through it as quickly as I can now. Four. Right, we're just going to go. I'm just going to choose anything now. RPM. Who is in motion? Did Johnny Do you want to guess it? I'll give you I'll give you a few seconds. Oh well, you're too late. This yeah, no one got that one. Poetry. That's fine. Come on. Fucking come on now. Fucking hell, it's taking too long. <sighs> Fuck's sake, Red. Who went from the castle market to RT did in W two? No, let's find out. Who cares? Two Hogan. Did anyone guess that? Who cares? Fucking let us finish the game now. He's taking the piss. Who was the Presley? US Army, no, come on, just want to fucking end the game, come on! <laughs> I 
Sorry, I just want to fucking end this game. I just want this fucking to end. Yes! At last! Where do you want to go? Silver screen, yeah? Silver screen, okay. Who played the title role in Young Frankenstein? I'm sure someone's going to get this. Gene Wilder 100%! It's Gene Wilder! Well done! A rat, hello, a rat. Is this the. Oh, yeah, a rat. Okay, alright, we've done. We've finished at last. Right. We might be able to get one game in of. Um, Quiplash. I've got it already loaded, so let's go. Right, okay. Well, what I'm going to do, I think there's enough of you, enough of us. I'm going to stay out of this one. I'll let eight of you be the quickest eight. Classics is in. Dirty Jack, Jack. Maltese TV. Classics, you have control. Okay, Rachel. Stefano is, a rat is in. Oh, we got three more. Are oh, we gonna have three more? Alright Dave, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Rachel, oh Rachel is in. I'm gonna have two more. Classics, it's up to you. You're in control of you're in control of it. You can wait or you can just go into it. It's up to you. There's two more spaces. Mystery G is in, <laughs> and it's not Jack. I never thought it was Jack. I honestly thought G was never Jack. So there's one more space if anyone wants to go into it. Come on, Clansman, you'll love it. You'll love it. Or if you want to see how it plays, it's up to you. But it's a feature in my stream now. And it's also a feature in Stefano's stream. Okay, okay, um, that's all right. Um, that's all right, Clansman. Don't worry about it. If you don't want to come, that's up to you. Right, the game is starting. I might join the audience in a minute. I'll just go. I'll be right back. This is Quiplash. I'm Schmitty, and you're an acceptable group of players. Oh, good. I'm just relieved that Mackenzie isn't playing after that stunt she pulled last week. <laughs> Let's get to it. Time for round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it.
Okay. Okay, here we go. Our first prompt is a rejected phrase for one of those Valentine heart candies. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. <laughs> Next one. If a genie gives you three wishes, the best things to wish for are one, a billion dollars, two, eternal life, and three, blank. Vote on your devices. I don't think G is the troll. G is not the troll. G is a mystery. Next up, the name of the website that probably gave your computer a virus. It's I'll post to say Microsoft. <laughs> Oh, this is a good game. This is a good game. Thank you, Stefano, for introducing this to us. Next in line, a great way to cure the hiccups. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, who's put who's putting the race all slurs in? Naughty, naughty. Yeah, we've seen the rat before. We've seen the rat before. Yes, Rachel, you're absolutely right. DVD is watching a film. The, the, way, the way I say it, if something's racial, okay, just don't vote. Something that would make an awful hat. But I know you wouldn't, you'd do that anyway. Next, the worst words to say for the opening of a eulogy at a funeral. Vote on your devices.
Oh, split decision. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> and Stefano takes the lead. It's now time for round two. Everything is worth double, twice as much. Ten seconds. Who's that down there? Oh, gee. Okay, it's time for some quick questions. The first prompt is the worst slogan for an erectile dysfunction pill. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Coming up next, pants. Will Welcome be back, DVD. If they blank. Time to vote. Was it any good, DVD? Oh, good. And next is the worst person to share a hot tub with. It's voting time. <laughs> Well, Andy Murphy would crack jokes. I know he would. And he'll tell me, say, get the fuck out of here! Thing you could stick in a toaster. Time to vote. <laughs> that was a brilliant film, Trading Places. Fucking brilliant film. Oh. 
Next up, a new name for kumquats. Vote on your devices. <laughs> ah, it's a good film, Stefano. I would recommend it. Really good film. Something you probably shouldn't bring on a trip across the Sahara Desert. It's voting time. <laughs> Okay, next one. The most awesome Guinness World Record to break. Time to vote. I know, Stefano, I know. We all, I knew that, I knew. And that's why everyone's voted for G. <laughs> and that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. That's why I racked last. Welcome to the last lash, the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting. No one likes a racist. Our prompt is: What two words would passengers never want to hear a pilot say? Metroto. Okay, you're dying. Okay, that's weird. I hope not. Here's what everybody wrote. Give out your votes now. Someone voted for that. Oh, 
Stefano, are you are you gonna do a stream? Are you doing? Are you streaming after this one? That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard. I think, you know, put it to, I think people will do. I think people will do. Well done, G. G, the mystery G has won the game. Right, let's find out in the stream. Let's find out in the stream that Stefano's going to do a stream. Do you want to go to Stefano's stream? Who are you saying fuck you to, Jack? Why are you starting a new? Why are you starting again? Welcome, Quiplash, Schmitty. Who Rose, started the stream? The jabbering, Classics. What are you doing? Okay, let's have a good clean fight. No quips below the belt. This is well, round one. just started it again. based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go. All right, just play, play, play this game. Play the game. Play the game. I can't stop it because I don't have the option. That option's gone. I don't. I can't stop the string. I can't stop it. So you'll just have to play. Just play, just play, just play it. Oh, F4. I won't, I'll just continue, I'll just continue it, just, just continue it. But Stefano, if you want to do the stream after, you go for it. I think three people, you'll get three people on. We'll see, you know, we've got, oh god, we've got a rat back. What's the keys, what's the keys? That's just closed down my window. That ain't stopped it. That's closed down the window of my. Um, I can't stop it. Let's take a look. First one. There's no option to stop it. Okay, pick your favorite. All that's done is closed down my window. Just, just play it. Just play it. No, I said I was going to stop. Clothing store for Just one guy. Vote on your devices. Just, just play this game out, and then Stefano can start his stream. <laughs> hey! I right, didn't even get a single vote. <laughs> well done, Rachel. Next up. Sometimes after a long day, you just need to blank. It's voting time.
All I'm saying, don't start another one. Well done, G. Coming up next, what's wrong with these kids today? Time to vote. So uh, don't worry classics, don't don't worry classics, just don't start the next one. Something that should never be homemade. <laughs> Vote on your devices. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, it didn't come up with an option. It usually comes up with an option that I can just go back. That option didn't come up for some reason. But don't worry about it. We'll just we'll play this game. Jack, why are you saying that for? Yeah. Oh god, here we go. And next is a great birthday present for your worst enemy. It's voting time. Oh dear rat. It's like you're not getting anywhere. <laughs> and next, what do you think the word pendiculation means? Okay, Stefano. Time to vote. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Nah. <laughs> it's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. Oh god, That's what's right, going doubled. on? Drama tonight. It's drama. Too much drama tonight. Fucking hell. All I, all I want to um, do on my channel is just have so people have fun with each other just enjoy the fucking stream you know when people fucking talk about bloody racism it's just fucking negativity fuck all that shit what is why do you want to why do you want to be racist for just to fucking get fucking attention you ain't gonna get attention you're just gonna be you're just gonna look like a total cunt sorry but that's all you're gonna do Hello, hello, Mark. How you doing, mate? Yeah, we got a problem on here, Mark. It's just people want to be attention seekers by acting racist.
I'll come in Rachel. Where's Rachel? Where's Rachel? Rachel! No. Let's start this show. Starting things off, what tattoo should Justin Bieber get next? Oh, Rachel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. A not very scary name for a pirate. <laughs> and next is something fun to ask the old wise man on top of the mountain. It's voting time. Government is yeah, hiding from the public everywhere. in area 497. Mark. Mark. It's everywhere. Vote on your devices. Stefano, do do quick flash one. Do quick flash one if you want. Dinger, Grand Salami, and Jack come up with a new slang term for a home run in baseball. It's voting time. Oh my god. No, that's going a bit too far now. That's going a bit too far. You're not being funny. And no one's voted for you. Rightfully so. Exactly, Rachel. Exactly. Next up, a little known fact about Canada. Yeah, I know, DVD. Time to vote. Yep, yep. You're absolutely right there, Maltese. Nobody likes a racist. Just remember that. People will watch this video and see this. That's why I don't get angry. You know, I just let everyone else be the judge of it. Your pancreas tests revealed. Vote on your devices. the end of round two. Let's see what happened. Oh, a round. Yeah. Got no points score. Wonder why. 
Nobody this likes is round a racist. Three, the last lash. Points are tripled, and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Your last lash prompt is a polite way to say booger. <laughs> yeah, good one, Rachel, good one. <laughs> Everybody's in. Vote away. So when you're an audience vote, you only get one. I don't know, I think someone said, um, Something about his drug supply, he got upset with it and left. That's all. Now for the final scores. Ah. Well done, Miss Team. You won the game. Well done, mate. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. What's going on here? Okay, it's been eventful. I'm um, Stefano. Are you doing the stream after this? If you can't get um, the second one, play the first one. I'll guarantee you'll get your audience. Yep, yeah, rat lost, deserving so. Ah, oh, rat's upset. Look, what a shame. <laughs> Nobody likes a, no one likes a racist. So what I'm going to do is block them. I blocked him. I blocked him. Child abusers grow up. Really? I think you're the child abuser around here. He's been blocked. I blocked him from the stream. So you won't see him again. Right. I won't be on next week because I'm going to be out next week. Um, so I won't be doing a gaming stream next week unless... Anything changes. 
Um, go to Stefano's stream is going to be started in a minute. Anyway, all I can say to you is thank you so much for coming on. It's always great as usual. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in a couple of weeks time. Unless anything happens next week, then I'll be on next week. But I will be going out well we've got plans so we will be going out so so um i will be going out um well as far as i know anyway i'm going out so unless anything changes then i'll put then yeah you know just play it by <laughs> take care of yourselves thanks for coming on and i will see you next time goodbye